Dan Colucci. Hi. Would you please come to the podium then, please? Face this way. This way is fine. Okay. You know what? Well, hi. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Dan Colucci. Um, I'll only take a couple minutes. Uh, me and my wife just moved into the community, and uh, we're very happy to be here. Uh, uh, we moved in a couple months ago, and we are living in Greenwood Place, which if you're going down Bank Street is to the right-hand side. Um, and Greenwood Place is considered that whole area back there. Um, except for uh, the concern I'm bringing to you guys is that my street seems to be a forgotten street with no name. Um, there are a few other homes on this street. Um, it, our address is 325 Greenwood Place. Um, but on this map, for instance, it is classified as Gilmore Street. Um, this map has it shown as uh, Morningside. Um, another map online has it as Greenwood Place, like you guys have it called. But then if you go to all GPS services, or Google Earth, Google Maps, uh, Garmin, we show up as Lucy Street. So I have a house that's on a street that has four different names. Um, and our postman can identify that because he's been doing the route for years. But as far as outside services like UPS, FedEx, um, anything, they have no idea where we are. They think we're on Greenwood Place because Greenwood Place is actually another street closer to Bank Street. So we are a horseshoe off that, and so you have Greenwood Place, and then you have, to get to our horseshoe, you have Gilmore Street and Morningside, and how we, at the end of that, are Greenwood Place, I'm not understanding how, but um, I guess my proposal is, is there anything that can be done um, to change it back to Lucy Street, which appears to be what it was at one point, or if there's nothing that can be done, is there a way that I could be directed to do something else about it? The problem will be, uh, will be a consultation with the post office, I believe, number one. We should start there. Well, normally what the post office does is when there's, a, when there's an address that needs to be added or whatever, and the residents call the post office, the post office tells them to call us and we tell the post office what the address is going to be. So we would say, you know, this is going to be 3.5 Lucy Street in this case. <coughs> um, so we can make that determination. Um, we can, you know, it's yeah, street, whatever. Uh, I don't I, I or, know. You know, you know the actual, yeah. Yeah. okay, so it's, it's yeah, it's, yeah right. Right. Oh, you're, oh, you're talking above or Elm River. It's the furthest, Street overlooking Baldwin and McFowler Hill. Yes. On the bars, that's and your, your, na your neighbors, what, is, what are they using as an address? That, that would be. My neighbor is Mark Dozo. They're using 333 Greenwood Place. And then I just, there's only three of us. Yeah, right? I'm just saying so, we, we need to get. Yeah. It can be so made every, 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 everybody in the same. Yeah, and I guess I'm just wondering if we could get it changed. Is there a way to get everything uniform, like uh, deed? Uh, can I? I mean, I have like a lot of things that uh, would need to be changed over to God. Didn't we have something like that with the, EM, with the EMS about Greenwood and the numbering? We have a lot of streets like that, but we've had it back in there and. When I when my guys used to work in the post office, they consider it Greenwood. Right. That whole area back there. Yeah, because if we used to get the calls, we get people saying, Oh, this is Lucy, no, we right. it's been a big confusion, but you know, the post office I think considers it Greenwood. Right. I mean they know because they deliver mail there all the time. They, like you said, you guy comes. Yeah, my only other concern I guess is that we don't even have a street sign. Um, like Gilmore <coughs> and Morning sign do. It. But at the back, like we don't even have a street sign. Like if we are to stay just Greenwood Place, we don't have a sign that tells people we're Greenwood Place. Mark, what is your address? I mean, what is what? What do you go by? Greenwood. Yeah. It, it does now. Yeah, I'm just saying that you're you are. Right. For utilities, everything. Okay. 
prior to the county, who said, this is Lucy, who stands in that. So you'll still see Lucy on the map. I grew up there, and it was never known like anything but Greenwood. But it was the whole area that was Greenwood. And everybody knew everybody else there, so Dan, you know, back then, yeah. there was no problem. But the only problem I have people encountered, there's a Greenwood in South Bay Right. Yeah. And a lot of people are looking for somebody. It's you know, Greenwood Drive still. Yeah, Greenwood yeah. Drive. Yeah. 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 They get it confused. I've lived where I lived for 47 years, and we still get jams. person put it. not ours, because we don't have the same postman every day. And he has no clue if it's not addressed properly. We can possibly explore making it part of the film more. It looks like what happened historically is looking at the uh, county map. Gilmore as a paper street when it was laid out actually continues and keeps going all the way to all. Right. Oh, oh really? Yeah, it, yeah. Not it doesn't exist in reality. Right. Yeah. But in reality, it's a curve. It just seems yeah. like a curve. We could, we would have to talk to the post office, but you could okay. possibly make that just part of the building. Okay. It seems like we're mm -hmm. earth that's a major thing. Okay. Councilman Petrozelli? Yes, yes. If I might have a look. Mr. Galusi is not alone, as we've noticed. There are a number of these issues in our community. And there is deep within the borough a committee called the Street Committee. And what it does is it looks at these issues for names and numbers of streets. Uh, it's a long ago committee that no one has ever actually, it's not been used for many years. I'm going to suggest, or I'm going to ask Council if they would not mind if Mr. Calusi, along with myself, and I'm hoping Councilman Petrocelli, if he is not going anywhere, might serve on that. Might serve on that. And might work on this issue over the next several months. Not just for Mr. Calusi's issue with Lucy Street and Greenwood, but also with the issue of Greg turning into Greenwood and Chartiers coming off and becoming Lesna. These are all issues that we could do a good job with someone very new and someone who's been around for a long time. So this is all off the top of my head. I did not speak to anyone, so I apologize for you know some of the blindsided counsel. But well, I was ready to excuse me. I was ready to. Uh, to mention to nobody in the committee with this, this way we are all going to be involved, do the same thing, and nothing gets done. Uh, that's okay with me. I'll be more than glad to serve. Uh, and let's get it together and uh, come back to, to the legal department plus the manager, and, uh, and slowly we can correct all these things. This is not going to be done in one week. Absolutely. I understand. I was just making it known in case it wasn't known, but it seems like it is very known. <laughs> so, okay. And now, but now you can be part of the solution. And we also so dust it. off whatever the new vehicles are. I mean, some wish you could actually approve the judge. So basically, we're going to do this thing. 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 we are during our public safety meetings, we discovered this, this street committee actually when we were looking at some of the things. And, mm -hmm. and it probably falls under public safety. Mm -hmm. and that's uh, something that we want to work with the public safety um, yeah. committee. I think it, it, would be the appropriate things. it would be my thought that the street committee would come up with some ideas and then present it to public <coughs> safety and then ultimately the council to ratify the names and places that are most appropriate. You know, this would be just a group that would start to look at the issue. Okay, very good. We will, we will definitely.